How we doing everybody? Got another week of YouTube ready. I uh, want to go over the bus of the week upcoming. Brett Favre, Zots, why are you starting him? He's hurt. In fact, I predict he's going to be out the year. You heard it here first. He's out the year. Sit him, Zots. Uh, let's go over last week's best. Uh, there's only one last week's best. Talk Radio Junkies, 141 points. He's getting hot at the right time with the playoffs starting up. Playoffs start in two weeks. So all the playoff matches are set. Um, so I'm not going to go over this week's winner. So it's, uh, we'll do that again next week. But there is one more uh, information I need to tell everybody. No more trades are allowed. Uh, last Sunday was the last day of trades. So no more trades. Um, you can't do any more of those. But I have been lucky enough to been, be joined by Jim Burgess. He's my guest coming up. Thank you. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks. Good. Well, I just want to go over, I appreciate you joining me this week. You're welcome. Yeah, um, hopefully you can do as good a job as Todd Mitchell did last week. Well, I don't know if that'll be possible, but I'll try. Yeah. See what happens. Well, I was kind of looking over your team um, when I heard that uh, I was lucky enough to have you here. I want to do a little bit of research on sure. you. So, um, I have been noticed that the, your team name really fits the personality and the person. For instance, my name is Talk Radio Junkies. I like Talk Radio. The year before it was Jet Ski Johnny's. I like to jet ski. I happen to notice that your two years ago your name was Spuds, and now Spuds. it's Do Overs. And I started to think about that. Um, why do you think you have such a negative team name like that? Is there something going on? Well, the with the Do Overs. Well. I think I think everyone deserves a chance to have one duel. Okay, I mean in life. Yeah. Okay. I believe that. And then what about spuds? Because that that kind of tells me you're not feeling very good about no. yourself. No. But spuds is our native vegetable in Idaho. Yeah, but our that potato. That, that's also a dog course, that we kind of kick around and stuff. We say spuds. You know, it's it's not a very productive or positive word. It's a great food. It is a great food. It's why great why food. didn't you call your name Potato then? <laughs> <laughs> I like Idaho Spuds better. Oh, okay. Okay, we got that name. And then, of course, out. last year I was Idaho Juggernauts, if you recall. Uh, I just recall the Spuds, and that just has stuck. Yeah. That and do-overs made me just think of maybe you weren't happy with your surroundings and everything going on. I just maybe you just well, want to do it all over again. Cause you, you, do, you do understand if you've done the research. I did do the research, okay, yeah. Okay, then you do know that uh, I was a Super Bowl champion twice out of the last five years. Yes. Was in the finals three out of the last five years. Which and I we'll think get to, We will get to that. Okay. We'll get to that. Right. Okay. I just want to make it straight. Now, um, okay, we did talk to I had, um, uh, somebody else in the field that works with me. We contacted Carson Palmer this week. Oh, you did? Yes, and... Um, to put it mildly, mildly, he is pissed off that you benched him last week. In fact, um, he's not quite sure he's going to perform for you throughout the rest of the year. What What's your relationship with Carson Palmer, and why did you decide to take everything he's given you this year and throw that away? Why did you send him to the bench? I think I had some reason. First of all, uh, Denver was playing Oakland in 60 degree, 70 degree weather. And I thought uh, Jay Cutler would have a better game than what he did. And how did he do for you? He had seven points. Seven points. And would you think that is a good good game for no, him? No, I, I don't. I think it was a very disappointing game. Okay. I thought, uh, I looked at Carson Palmer in the range of no more than ten points this week uh, due to the opposition he was playing and the weather conditions. And would you say that warm weather was worth ruin or in that relationship that you used to have well, Carson with Carson understood. Palmer. He understood well, he didn't it. understand with the interview. He is very upset. Well, he, he told me he understood okay. exactly what was happening and the reason behind it. Okay. Okay. Can we get um, on and talk about some important Yes. Things? Well, I have talked about people in the league and 
you were referring to um, your Super Bowl wins mm -hmm. and yes. your victories, and um, a lot of people in this league are just saying that you're lucky. Well, what, what do you true. think to say to those people? That's true. That's and true. And of okay. course, that probably comes from Twinkle, twinkle Toes. Yeah. That's Jason. Jason. Hi, Jason. Uh, I refer to you as Twinkle Toes because of the uh, soft approach you have to everybody. You kind of say something sometimes on the uh, on your complaints, and then you back off. They want to say, oh, you're right, and I apologize for this, and I apologize for that. Well, so be it, Jason. Why don't you be We're a man about and just you. stand up and say what's on your mind?